Hey, it's Adam here from the West Ham is Why We Drink podcast. I'm a little under the weather, so sorry about my um, deeper than normal voice, although it probably sounds better. Um, I think that there's no doubt the most embarrassing exit was the Oxford one. Um, although the League Cup is less important, you know, we just come off of a win against High Fly Norwich at the time. Um, but then we got a draw against uh, Villa and then we beat Man United 2 0. At that point, we were flying. Um, and we, we, there's no excuse not to beat Oxford. Whereas West Brom, you know, the script was set. They're high-flying in the championship. We're abysmal at the moment. Um, and honestly, for the first time in a long time, I went into that game with absolutely no hope that we would get anything out of it. So for me, the Oxford one is way more embarrassing. Let's hope that we can salvage this season still. Come in your wines. Which is more embarrassing as an FA Cup exit, losing to Oxford away under Pellegrini last season, or losing to West Brom at home under David Moyes at the weekend just gone. As far as I'm concerned, they're both just as equally embarrassing as each other. Now, don't get me wrong, the Oxford United loss was very, very embarrassing. To lose to a League One side with players who didn't really care is just as embarrassing, in my opinion, bearing in mind we are coming up to the 40th anniversary of us winning the FA Cup against Arsenal and that 1-0 victory at, at Wembley. It's just as embarrassing as losing to West Brom at the weekend. Because we had more senior players in the FA Cup under Moyes. Just as we did against Oxford United. But Bilic made, was it eight or nine changes to that? And that is the embarrassing thing. To lose to a championship B team just edges it for me. It's going to take a long, long time for us to get anywhere near to the FA Cup final as we did in 2006. A long, long time. It's not going to happen under our current owners. It's certainly not going to happen under David Moyes. And it's certainly not going to happen with the remaining squad that we will have over the next few years. Will we actually see the cup to be lifted in our lifetime only time will tell what's the worst cup exit is it oxford the mighty oxford from league one or is it the uh the baggies west brom yesterday one nil at home to me it's four nil away at oxford isn't it you know all of the players that was in the team sheet you know we had that uh roberto in goal uh, Zabaleta, Balbano, Diop, Masuaku, Sanchez, Snodgrass, he was substituted for Noble, Wiltshire, Fornells, Holland and Haller, no, sorry, Holland was substituted for Haller, and Ajeti, Ajeti, I mean, they should have beaten Oxford, you know, they're both just as bad losses, I mean, yesterday against West Brom was unreal, wasn't it? Did we have a shot on target? Did we get a shot on target? Did we get a shot on target? I don't know. It's bonkers, if you ask me. Something is terribly wrong with the club. But, you know, you've got to laugh. Otherwise, you just go around and twist. It ain't funny, but you've got to laugh at it. Um, it's Oxford for me. Oxford's the worst, by far. You know, it's terrible. The club's in a terrible state right now. And morale will only get worse with a cup exit, a cup exit like that from West Brom. Shocking, man. Shocking. I will. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Come on, your eyes. Up the hammers.